Welcome to the final results video for the Man vs Machine Challenge, where for the past 5 trading weeks, I put myself to the test trying to outperform TraderFade, a trading algorithm developed by Zion Trading Algos. I'm going to put a recording of a trade taken with my new setup in the background, since it's more interesting than the stock footage I was using for the previous updates. It doesn't actually relate to this video's main topic, which is to show the final challenge results and discuss some key takeaways. The past 5 weeks seem to go by extremely fast, which is partly because I went on vacation for a full week, and my day job, which had been mostly remote all year, required me to go into the office more often than usual, so I just wasn't able to trade as much as I wanted to. This however does highlight one of the big advantages of algo trading, where it can monitor the markets 24-7 and take trades on its own, even when you're busy with other aspects of life. Let's dive into my Josh Trades account results first and see how I perform manually, identifying and taking my LFG setup. Won't spend too much time here because I've been posting all my daily trade results in my community tab, but I'm pleased to report that I've been trading quite well since my last challenge update on August 16th, before I went on vacation. In fact, this data seems to suggest that taking time away from the charts actually improved my trading, as I've been having green days ever since I returned from vacation on August 27th. I actually do think that my break from trading was great for refreshing my mental space and reminding myself that it's okay to miss trades because the markets will always be there. This sounds obvious, but I think it's a very important perspective that personally helps me be more patient when trading and not forcing suboptimal setups. So here are my final statistics for the challenge. In total, I achieved a net profit of $416. I took a total of 73 contract trades, winning 40 of them, resulting in a win rate of 55%. The sample size is still pretty small, but this data does seem to suggest that my trading strategy has an edge, and I'm excited to continue refining my LFG setup to improve these stats even further. After I build more confidence in it, I'll post a detailed video explaining how the setup works. Anyway, my total profit of $416 amounted to a 4.16% return on the $10,000 starting SIM account balance in only a little over a month, which I'm honestly pretty pleased with. Now let's see if this was enough to beat the algo that has been running every day during the entire challenge period. Here's the algo account equity curve, and as you can see, my Josh Trades account is the official winner of this man vs machine challenge, and it really wasn't even close. I showed that large winner in the last challenge update that looked like it could have been the start of a comeback for the trader fade algo, but that big win turned out to be the only win the algo had for the duration of this challenge. The entry parameters didn't trigger much since the last update and when it did trigger, it happened to be losing trades. I did want to highlight that one of these trades did look extremely promising at one point, and was actually up close to $1,000, but the take profit requirements were never met, and the algo stayed in the trade through a retracement, and ultimately exited at end of day for a loss of $150. I wanted to highlight this to show that despite this rough looking equity curve, the algo has taken decent trades and has been in significant unrealized profit, but ultimately was at the mercy of how unpredictable the market can be. Anyway, here are the final challenge statistics for the Trader Fade account. In total, Trader Fade had a net loss of 1,867. It took a total of 29 contract trades, winning 5 of them, resulting in a win rate of 17%. Again, 5 weeks is a very small sample size, especially considering that the algo was written based on years of historical data. But objectively speaking, this particular algo was very unprofitable during the duration of this challenge. Happy to score one for mankind in the perennial battle against machines, but more importantly, I wanted to share a few takeaways from this man vs machine challenge. I came into the challenge with a strong bias against retail trading algos. Institutional algos actually drive the markets and are a whole other story. I didn't think retail algos were effective because their rules were too rigid and couldn't adapt to changing market conditions. The algo account's performance during the challenge period pretty much confirmed this bias. I get that trading algos are written using historical data, but I think that's actually the problem. Just because a trading system was profitable in the past, doesn't mean that it will be profitable in the future. This not only applies to coding trading algos, but it's also something we need to keep in mind when backtesting our manual setups. One of Mark Douglas's five fundamental truths of trading is that every moment in the market is unique meaning it's literally impossible to have the same exact market conditions more than once, because even though the candlestick patterns may look the same, certain variables such as volume or new cycles or seasonality will inevitably be different. 
Algorithms that try to force the same rigid trading rules in different market conditions don't consider all the variables that are outside of the parameters it's tracking, which in my opinion makes it very difficult for them to be long-term profitable. I still believe that there are two keys to consistent profitability. The first is risk management, which can definitely be coded into trading algos. The second is human intuition gained from experience in the markets. Intuition is what helps us identify and analyze the variables outside of the actual trading setup to help us make trading decisions. It's what prevents us from taking a trade even though it looks like it meets our entry requirements because of a non-technical factor, such as knowing that there's an upcoming news release that will make it extra risky. This intuition can't be coded into retail trading algos and are the main reason why, as a retail trader, I prefer trading manually. If I had to guess, machine learning and advanced AI are probably being used very effectively by institutional trading algos to adapt to trading market conditions. But again, we're just talking about retail algos here. As for how I can apply what I've learned from this challenge to my own trading, I would say that this makes me want to listen to my own intuition and allow for some more flexibility into my trading setup. In general, I've always thought that it's more profitable to trade like a robot and follow objective entry rules without considering anything else. But I realize now that this is exactly what I perceive to be the problem with retail trading algorithms. If I'm trying to manually trade this way, I might as well just pay someone to code my own trading algorithm, which would actually be pretty interesting to see now that I actually say it out loud. But in the meantime, I'm going to work on developing my intuition and allowing for more discretion in determining when to take trades. Once I decide to enter a trade though, I'll continue to let it fully play out. But I try to be less rigid in my entry requirements and use discretion to analyze market context when deciding whether to enter a trade or not. We'll see how things go. I obviously don't have it all figured out yet, but I'm trying out different trading styles and seeing what works best for me. And of course, I'll be documenting my findings and trading insights here on this channel like I have with this challenge. As always, thanks for watching. Please leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe so you're notified of the next time I post a video, which will be back to trade recaps. In the meantime, I'll continue posting daily profit and loss updates in my channel's community tab.